What's up today, you guys? Today is Throwback Thursday. Today we're going to talk about the days where I was an entertainer. So here on, thir on Throwback Thursday, about six years ago, I used to be an entertainer. I used to go out. If anybody knows anything about drag, well, there's a male version of that. I was a male entertainer. I went out on stage, I lip synced, and I was competing in pageants. And so there was one time where I decided to run for Mr. Kansas International. And so if you go to my Facebook, you'll see all the pictures. The link is in the descriptions below. However, I'm going to give you some examples of what I did when I competed for Mr. Kansas International and Mr. International. So the first thing we're going to start off with is my formal wear. So I wore a, a, a $1,200 suit and uh, so it's all about bedazzling and sparkles. And so this was my vest that I wore. I decided to go with purple. Here it is. Got the beautiful rhinestones right here on both sides. You got some white stuff on there, which makes me mad. But yeah, so this was my formal wear right here. Isn't that nice. All right, and so another part of the competition was creative fashion. So what I decided to do was to go out and I did two things. I'm gonna show you my, uh, my state level and then I'm gonna show you my national level creative fashion. So I, in, in my state competition, I wanted to focus on something that was like school, uh, like flames or school. So I went and I got this done. Has a school with flames and rhinestones. So that's on the vest, or I'm sorry, on the jacket. And then the shirt also has it right here. It's the flames. And then it goes all the way down through the pants and onto the shoes. It is amazing. And so I went to the national level. So I placed first alternate at state. I went to the national competition, which was in Iowa, uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And so with it being Mr. International, what I wanted to focus on was my creative fashion be something from every single country, or at least from as many countries as I can. So the shoes came from Germany. Uh, the jacket is Christian Dior, which I'm about ready to show you. Uh, the shirt was American and the pants was Australian, which I'm about ready to show you the pants and the jacket. So, what I also wanna do is I had to add a little bit of bling. This outfit has over 5,000 rhinestones. I'm gonna show you the pants and the jacket, but keep in mind, I had glasses that was rhinestone. Shoes that were rhinestone. Socks that were rhinestone. The pants, Rhinestone, the jacket, rhinestone, the shirt, rhinestone, all rhinestone out. When I walked out, I was a human flashlight. So, I'm gonna show you the jacket first. So this is a Christian Dior jacket, right here, which has all the sparkles that anybody would ever need. And on the back, Sparkles. Now I have washed this and some rhinestones did fall off, uh, but it, it needs to be bleached. It just set in bleach, that's all it needs uh, to clean it up a little bit. I haven't wore this since my competition. However, the right buyer and this could be yours. So that was Christian Dior. So I'm gonna show you the Australian jeans. These are my favorite jeans I've ever purchased. These jeans, fully rhinestone. 
They are Sippo and Bax jeans sportswear. I got it from Australia, so I have no idea. All right, so that, these are the jeans. Now, if you look at the jeans, they are three layered. I don't know if you can see this, but you have one jean, two jeans, and three jeans. They're layered jeans, but it means one jean. It's just, that's the look, that's the style. But yeah, all fully rhinestone. This right here needs to set and bleach too. I haven't worn these since my pageant days. Um, it really needs to set and bleach. But fully rhinestone out. So whenever I went to the competition, I placed fourth alternate at national level. If you look at me now, you probably would be like, no way. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a couple pictures in here of me in my outfits, in the competition. Uh, the next 10 seconds, you'll see some pictures. So here's those pictures. So, I couldn't find my sash, but I forgot one main thing. So, entertainers has to stay warm. And I also performed in this. This is a long trench coat that has thorns, you can see right there, in the arms. On the back is angel wings, right there. And on this side, right here, on both sides, the thorns. And it still fits me today. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, you guys. I showed you my outfits, uh, my trench coat here, how I stayed warm. But anyways, that's going to be it for today, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to watch my other video I just posted where you may have the chance to win an arcade block. Watch that video for rules. Anyways, that's gonna be it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, favorite, that's it.